Okay guys, so my battery is running low, but quick review of the A-Class Coupe. Now this is new, I uh, have the key and I'm gonna jump in. So, standard key, uh, as you can see, and jump right into the car. Uh, looks beautiful, looks, looks masculine, it's pretty big. Uh, you can see the AMG package, uh, lights. Uh, I'm gonna come through this side. So you can see the whole car better. Um, I do love there's no B pillar. So the car has one, I mean two glasses that are connected. Uh, this is the price tag. So this is the E220D and has a 194 horsepower and um, top speed of 239 kilometers per hour. Uh, you can see the whole package here, and this is silent gray color. Um, yep, uh, I believe these are probably. Um, let me see, 19 inch wheels. Yep, so beautiful, and I love the back as well. Look at this, I love this. This is like. These look like diamonds, they sparkled. It's not even on now, but it's beautiful the way Mercedes done this. Now, I'm gonna hold to open the trunk. So you can see the perspective. Um, there's a lot of spaces you can see inside. 40-20-40, uh, and it cannot down the seats by pulling here. I'm not gonna do that now. You have here uh, for some bags holder net there and there. Uh, have a uh, basket from a CD, so a lot of storage area inside. Um, pretty nice, uh, close. Have the red, red light here, light here, uh, close here, our lock automatically closes. Um, pretty nice looking, have parking sensor in the back. This is the, of course, the AMG package. It looks really nice, it looks beautiful. I uh, almost prefer it rather than a C-Class Coupe. Uh, for some reason, fake exhaust. You can see the two pipes over there. And uh, there's some family, so I apologize for the kids screaming. But their kids, a uh, beautiful door chrome handle. You can see uh, that the window is, there's just this small piece, but this, I love this. This is so beautiful. It looks so spacious because of this. Now, I'm gonna jump inside. Ah, uh, beautiful ambient light as you can see uh, controls for the mirrors you can you know fold them uh, heating uh, all four windows are electric unlock lock the car uh, nice fine leather with white stitches uh, you can pop the trunk from the driver's position beautiful ambient lights which you can customize um, heated seats you can control the uh, co-driver seat uh, with these options and tell me do you prefer the manual uh, gauge cluster or the new, uh, you know, uh, digital ones? Uh, of course, your light switch, um, all standard electronic parking brake. You have the sport paddles, and just gonna jump inside. Of course, the seats are electric. Uh, have lumbar support, uh, everything. Now, um, nice leather. The seats are hugging you, and just to show you, when you want to enter, you just move here and I guess the car's not on, the seats should move. Uh, you can see the space here, uh, you have an AC, you do have uh, two chargers on the back, you have cup holders there, and uh, I'm gonna jump in, just to remove the key from my pocket, and um, so, this looks nice, it's classic, but I do prefer the new steering wheel and the new digital cockpit display. Uh, this is pretty much standard. Uh, all nice looking, beautiful uh, buttons, um, you know, hazards. Um, you have all controls for the uh, AC, the menu. Uh, turbine vents, nice premium, uh, big glove compartment. Uh, this is some sort of wood, I love wood in Mercedes rather than the piano plastic. This is beautiful finish. Um, we have uh, USB 2, uh, inductive charging or near field contact, uh, two holders for the cups and 
you know, this is standard Mercedes controls. I'm not going to get into that. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with these uh, two USB 2s SD card. Big storage space. And you have a big speaker on the top. You have a mirror. Um, you know, your light switches. Uh, I guess the car is really out of battery. Uh, so it's not working. And, you know, this is pretty standard. I want to hear your opinions below guys what do you think uh, leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you already have we have a little speaker here because you have the have the sos calls uh you have a control for the uh panel roof which is great you have even the shade which is automatic you have lights on the top uh this is the back view these are the seats and you have uh you know child locks you have two cup holders and let me just, you know, turn the camera. I hope you can see this because I cannot see where the camera is pointing. Uh, 5 watt. Actually, this is a USB 2. And we have an ashtray here. It's pretty much it. You have uh, MG carpets. And I don't know if I've forgotten something. Let me just see if I can turn on the infotainment. Infotainment is not coming on. Let's see. The power button oh i like this and i love the ambient lights you can imagine my, my myself in this car definitely so this is sort of my driver's perspective it's awesome but the infotainment is just not coming on so i will assume that the infotainment is pretty much uh not working because the battery is flat and weight i turned on the car right now so i I have to sometimes press it once or twice. This one's twice. So you can see uh, the AC is blowing uh, really nice. And menu on, I guess. Oh wait, I'm, I got confused with the A-Class. So I pressed this thinking uh, the infotainment would come on. Okay, so, you know, just a warning message not to lose, uh, get distracted by this. Gonna mute the sound. Um, pretty much, you can see here everything. Uh, system, vehicle, and, you know, uh, I'm not gonna go through the menu, but, well, this is interesting. And you know that you have a lot of data here. Um, you can go to you know a lot of stuff here. Let's just go back home. System, you know, of course, obviously you use this to control everything. You can have the uh, extra screen navigation because it's a larger screen. Um, you can have like. Um, you know, uh, divided it to two screens and automatic, uh, like night, day, automatic. Um, a lot of options here. Uh, I like this, and you can personalize it, have more multiple drivers, and um, the rest is pretty much it. You have the navigation, which is full screen. Uh, you can divide it so um, So this is just you know, you also have this little two guys so you can control here a Screen options with this little fob this you have voice commands, you know home button um, Home button here um, So you can you know go through all of this And you know uh, Customize to your preferences and I really Let me just back up while my battery is still working to get the radio on um, turn on oh I forgot the so the speakers are not bad I'm not gonna turn them up uh, all the way uh, I'm gonna mute now for the copyright strikes and uh, pretty impressed with this reliable systems um, A lot of options here, so 
you just get into the vehicle I really like the uh, lighting um, um, ambient lights just to show you this is one of my favorite features Com complete vehicle up front back you can really customize a lot here and just look at this okay um, go with a yellow or maybe go with a there's really a lot of colors here you can really you know customize this want you this red um, I know it's still bright but let's go really really red oh that's really nice and this this is cool when it comes to you know nighttime because okay you can turn it off you can you know really put brighten it up and so many options here so many options uh, i'm gonna leave it on this and turn off the infotainment because the car is not hooked to the battery so um turn off the control and turn off the infotainment uh i must say i love the car uh it's super spacious and uh this no b pillar thing it is awesome just let me put the camera here look at this space around me it's wow that's that's um that's super awesome and grab the key and get out of the car beautiful the new e-class coupe so guys thanks for watching this quick review of the e-class uh, I want to hear your comments below uh, do you like it do you dislike it what do you add something to the car and if you already haven't subscribed to the channel I'll click the little notification bell next to it to get the notification and upload a new video and to stay tuned to the channel uh, soon we're gonna pass 5,000 subscribers and we're probably gonna have a giveaway so don't forget to subscribe see ya bye